beautiful job. Now, that brings out a, a point that is bugging me. These defensive men are picking up fouls, which is totally unfair. Now, first, before we go into this, I want to introduce these fellows out there demonstrating. Paul Silas of the Boston Celtics, Elvin Hayes of the Washington Bullets on offense, along with Paul, Wesley Unsell, also from the Washington Bullets, Mike Reardon, also from the Bullets on offense, and Clem Haskins playing the defense. Now, do that again. Go ahead. All right. Did Wes Unsell hit that man hard enough to knock him down? What went through your mind, Mike? What, what, what was your purpose in making that pick? Initially, I was trying to free uh, my teammate, Elvin Hayes, here for a jump shot or a move to the hoop without the ball. It also, if I could get away with it, to draw a, a foul on Wes in setting that pick, to fake a foul, in other words, that was the second purpose. Well, that's the point. Actually, he didn't hit you that hard where you had to fall down. No. No, that's the point. Now, in order to clarify this, I brought in one of the great officials of all time, the ex-dean of the NBA officials, Mendy Rudolph. Come here, Mendy. I want to get your opinion. Explain to Mike what's the attitude of the officials on this thing. Well, the first thing, Mike and, and Red and everybody else, is the distance of the screen. Wes, if you turn around, when you set a blind screen, you've got to give this man here at least one step. Now, Mike did that. But on the other hand, as soon as contact came, Mike went and did some Hollywood acting. And the best thing the officials can do in this case, Red, is to ignore the play and don't even call it. Now remember, coaches today, in high school, college, and pro, are teaching the players how to fall. This is unreal. They're teaching them how to fall. They teach the defense how to fall. In this case, he's on the offense. They're teaching him how to fall. All right, here's another example. Come on, Mike. Show him what I want to do. Now watch Mike dribble. Elvin Hayes is going to set a pick. He changed his mind. He starts to drive. Now, what happened? Did he go into Clem Haskins, or did Clem Haskins block him? Mendy, what's your opinion? What happened? Here again, it was a great acting job by Clem Haskins. Now, the contact between Mike and Clem was totally incidental, Red. And again, the officials on this play should ignore it totally to eliminate this kind of acting in our game. If they're smart again to stop it, to stop it early in the ball game, call the blocking foul on this man right here, and he'll stop falling on the floor picking up splinters <laughs> on his backside. Well, I happen to agree with you. I mean, I'm uh, very, very much opposed to this type of basketball. All right, let's go into another one. Mike, take the ball. Clem, you're guarding Mike. Elvin is in deep. Mike is going to drive by... Clem Haskins. Now watch Wes Unsell. This is very important. Watch this. Go ahead. All right. Now, on a play like that, Wes Unsell stood there and took the block. Now, Mendy, you saw that. How do you feel about that play? Again, it depends upon where Mike is. And on that particular play, when Wes Unsell set up the block, Mike had left his feet and on that particular play, this is an illegal block by Wes Unsell, and the foul should be called against Wes, giving Mike probably a three-point play. Why? We've got to stop this sort of play in the NBA. Exactly. You can ignore this foul if you care to, but certainly don't call the offensive foul. This segment is not aimed at referees, believe me. It's aimed at coaches. It's aimed at players. What are we going to do about it? Let's clean this thing up. Let's not hurt the game. 